America, it's Tony and Mallory, and you're here for week 17 of Camping Corner. Yes. This week's episode brought to you by. Oh wait a minute, we don't. No, it's brought to you by Tony and Mallory. That's yeah, because we by. don't we don't have any corporate sponsors. We need some corporate sponsors. Oh, that'd be fun. Budweiser, great sponsor. <laughs> Anheuser Busch, I'm in for Anheuser Busch. <laughs> Keystone RV. See, okay, yeah, that one might be more. Walnut Ridge kind of sponsors you. That's true. <laughs> oh, they're like the executive, executive, executive producer. <laughs> you know, they provide the talent and the, the, all the other stuff. They provide the talent. Us. Do -do. Talent. And our minor executive producer, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> but, Hi. hey, yeah, let's get some cool corporate sponsors. That'd be cool. Yeah. Some swag. Could I'd you wear get it. some swag? I don't know if Nathan would let us, though. I don't know. So, what are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about what's the buzz. What is the buzz? Hardest thing all week, trying to pick three. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I kind of studied this one the other day when we posted it on Facebook because I knew we'd be talking about it. And I still don't really know what three I'd pick. I'm going to offend someone, whether it be friends or family probably my family all right so so out of these nine things mm -hmm. what's your three okay rv for sure s'mores because i have to have that i like my food guys sorry i'm sorry family i'm choosing the pet <laughs> love you guys <laughs> um so so minor problem with your 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 thought process. Okay. You forgot, you don't have any firewood, so how you can have fire? You can make s'mores in the microwave. They're not as good, but not, you can do it's it. It's not the same. Those aren't s'mores. I'm just saying. Those are mar melted marshmallows. They're just melted marshmallows. <laughs> For that matter, you could use the, I mean, if you're going to do it that way, you could use the, what do they call it, marshmallow whip? Oh, that would be good too. Yeah. I'm not against that. My kids like uh, peanut butter and marshmallow whip sandwiches so you just take the marshmallow whip and instead of putting jelly on i don't think i've ever had that yeah they like that huh not so such a fan of it myself but Holy so God. i'm going with um because you know there really should be 10 things on this item because i'm missing something <laughs> but i'm going with uh the firewood okay uh so so with a family, does that mean your spouse, or is that like other family members? I think your spouse is included in family members. So that means you didn't, you're, you know. You're I not, know. You, Shh, maybe Derek won't watch this episode. You didn't take Derek. <laughs> well, since since uh, my lovely wife is watching, I have to go with a family member and the RV. The dogs are going to have to stay home because if I have to pick her or the pet on video that could be admissible in court. Uh, I gotta pick her. Oh, Tony is better than me. Sorry. Now, Derek. she has a new puppy that she just got. She may choose the puppy over she you. She would most definitely pick, choose the puppy See? over me. So she would go uh, pet, RV, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, bug spray maybe. Yeah. Well, okay, I want to I want to back this up though that it would be no shock to Derek that I would choose the dogs because when we had our first before we had our first date, I was out in Las Vegas on vacation and I had somebody pet sitting my dog that I had then I called Derek before I got home and he's like, "Oh, I'm so excited for you to get back." And I was like, "I know, me too. I get to see my dog." Didn't even think about our first date. That would, so he knows. This probably is no surprise right. to him, in all honesty. I got you. <laughs> Dan, your, your three? My three would be uh, firewood, for sure, RV, for sure, and 100% pet. And I'm fine with this being admissible in court on video. <laughs> Sarah can stay home. It's me, the dogs, the camper, and a fire. All right. All right. So... Everybody watching at home, Internet America, what's your what's your thoughts? 
And it doesn't say that your spouse couldn't pitch a tent in the campsite across from you. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> just throwing that out. Got there. it. There's loopholes. <laughs> Picking three. That's that's so hard. It is hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So next one. Finished remodeling the inside of the camper. Came out great. Really loving the storage space. I love it. It's pretty comical. And the sad thing is, if anybody that's on social media has seen pictures similar to this where they show like, you know, it shows like a little small RV and then they show the inside. Yes. And of course, being in this industry, I'm looking at it going, that's that, that, that's not it. That's, that's not, not what it, it looks like. That's that's not what it looks like at all. Yeah, yeah. The you know just for reference the the sofa, the sofa in the picture below, is bigger than the whole vehicle. Th than the whole vehicle. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. That's funny though. That's funny. And then I know we had this posted on our on our the the dealership webpage the other day. And somebody wanted to, uh, the, one of the first comments was, do you guys have one of those? <laughs> I, I want it. Uh, so that, that thing's super cool. Um, you know, big, giant, super C. Um, and the funny thing is they make those. And what's the but price tag on something like that? A lot. The, the atypical, if you have to ask, you can't afford it. Oh, I mean, I could imagine just looking at it. I can't, can't even yeah. afford to look at it. Obviously, technology-wise, they're considerably different than that <laughs> now. But, right. But, yeah, they, they make those. The, those things are, are ridiculously fancy. <laughs> All right. So if you're going to buy a motorhome, are you going to buy a Class A or a Class C? Um, me, personally? Yes. Ma'am. You don't want either one. I don't want them. I'm, I, I don't love them. Yeah. I don't love them. Not for me. Okay. But if know. you're forced to buy one, this isn't a, there's no C on here. The, you, gun to your head, you're buying a <laughs> motorhome of some sort. Are you buying a Class A or a Class C? <laughs> okay, fair enough. You know, fair that enough. counts, it, though. No, no, yeah. And, and, you know, and I think that's kind of a super, that's kind of a super C you know, or, or whatever. But I suppose if I'm going to have, if, if, if you're going to force me to buy one, it has to be like some stupid, obnoxious, you know, ridiculous, over the top, just mm -hmm. personality. Yeah. I mean, it's just got to be. I mean, I would agree. I would have to definitely say class A because I'm going to go, if I'm, if I have to get one, I'm going to go bigger and I'm going to go, you know, full out. Right. Yeah. Might as well. You yeah. gotta get one. Class yeah, eight. I mean, don't get me wrong. There is no better way to travel. Right. You know, if you're going to actually travel, even with 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 a family, there is no better way to travel than in, in a motorhome. Mm -hmm. You know, even having a towable camper and taking the kids um, on a trip. Right. They're still in the back seat of the truck, mm -hmm. and you're you're still constantly stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. And the kids are constantly, you know, I got to feed. When are we going to be there? How much longer? I'm bored. What's this? Why is that? What's that? And at least in a motorhome, you know, they can move around. They have a bathroom. They can do right. that. You can tell them to make you a sandwich while you're going down the road. There's no better way to travel. It's just not, you know, I don't want to, and I don't want to offend anybody. It's just not my thing. Yeah. No, everybody has their preference. Yeah. For sure. All right. What about you guys? Internet America. <laughs> Internet North America. We're wide stretching. <laughs> oh. So the next section is this in? Is this what we asked for last week? Responsive. Yes. Yes. These vehicles? are a couple of the photos that came in when we had the debate over a if tow you vehicle. were going to have a travel or yeah tow vehicle debate. Yes. Yeah. And then we said show your tow vehicle. So we had a couple of submissions. Nice, and it looks like they were both Chevys. So Heart, the heartbeat of America. So yeah, it looks like nobody else. It's a pretty neat heartbeat. We got some Chevys. It, it, you might, you might say it's a pretty weak heartbeat, but we got two pictures submitted, and out of those two pictures, they're both the heartbeat of America. 
and Ronald and Tom, you got some good. You know what, though? Here's the thing. I And I'm going to prove this. Next time we get on to Gulf Shores, which will be in September, we drove through Gulf Shores State Park, which is 400-plus sites. And now, granted, we didn't do an, a tally count, but I would say probably 75 to 80% of all of the campsites had a Ford tow vehicle in them. Really? So I think that's interesting. Like it would be interesting for people to comment below, not what your favorite is, right. but what you see the most of at a campground. Do you, you see more have. Fords, more Chevys, or more Dodge? Yeah. Like now we're gonna have to look at that up here at Walnut Ridge Campground. What do we see the majority of? Unbiased. What do we see the majority of up there? It's uh, it's a great poll. Yeah. It's. I think so. And and. You know, people are people are diehards, man. Oh yeah, they are. You know, they are. You know, Dan, Dan's a Ford guy. I'm a right. I'm a bow tie guy. Chevrolet. I'm not wearing a bow tie ever. Mallory's not the pretty truck girl. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry guys. It's got cool. bling on it. It's I love so pretty. it. It's so pretty. Can I put rhinestones on the dashboard? My dad might be disappointed in me since he's worked for Chevy dealerships my entire life. <laughs> I'm just disappointing so many people on this episode. <laughs> hey, and we had a submission from a very important commenter. Yes. The uh, beautiful. The, the lovely and talented wife. My <laughs> wife. Ready or not, here I come. My wife has become obsessed with... It's the flamingo Flamingos. Guy. We have it right there on the screen. There you go. <laughs> the screen. On the screen. My wife has become obsessed with flamingos. My mother-in-law just got us a solar-powered glow flamingo for the yard. We got this big five-foot flamingo. Oh, I love it. We're. She's obsessed with it. I can't wait to drive through the campground and see the outfits. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's got a Hawaiian shirt on in the basement right now. All right. Now we're <laughs> around the web. <laughs> so, Dan, you took these, didn't you? Uh, actually, Ashley sent those to me. Oh, Ashley sent them. Thank you, Ashley. Ashley found the camping section at Meyer with all the decor. Now I feel like I have to go to Meyer and get some. They've got some cool stuff. I know. My office needs some more camping decor. I think several of us have the little camper on the bottom the shelf, second one over. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Every time my wife makes me go to Hobby Lobby. Oh, that's like a black hole. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna do some damage in there. It, it not my favorite store. I, it, I get overrun with. Ooh, look at that. I just it, it just over <laughs> it just over. It overpowers me. Overstimulates. Yeah, there's just too much stuff. and and, (laughs) But one thing that they don't have a ton of is camping stuff. They really don't, surprisingly. Hobby Lobby, you got to up your game there. They got tons of fish things and deer hunting Like lake house stuff. Yeah, tons of lake house stuff. Yeah. um, So before you guys flip the page, the reason why, just for the public, the reason why you're stammering over the script is because I wouldn't allow you to look at it before. Yeah. Because I've kind of introduced this new segment, not a regular new segment, but something new called What in the World, based off of last week's episode where we had the camper in the ocean and all that other stuff. <laughs> Those were fun. So I want your first reactions to these to be your on camera. So, genuine, genuine reaction. Yeah, so this is still around the web, but it's kind of a section, subsection of What in the World. <laughs> So, there you go. There's your first one up there on the screen. <laughs> how, but, I, how? Like, <laughs> so, I buy, I, I buy, I buy the fact that it might be able to pull it. Really? I buy it. Okay. If, if you've ever driven a smart car, it takes you 27 minutes to get to 30 miles an hour anyway. <laughs> So you're not getting to 30 miles an hour. It would, there's no doubt in my mind, it would get it moving and pull it. What it won't do 
is stop it. Ooh, yeah, true. Yeah, you're talking about that's just not gonna work. No, I'm, math is not my that's not my forte. Yeah. <laughs> However, physics says something that weighs fifteen hundred pounds cannot stop something that weighs 11,000 pounds. Yeah, I just it's not adding up. And I want to be the car salesman that hears I would like a tow package <laughs> on <laughs> my electric or car. Or the person that walks into the dealership and goes, I want to do this. Oh, this is my goal. So maybe, though, maybe these people are tech-savvy people. And maybe the thing that's actually supporting the fifth wheel hitch is some kind of really awesome, cool, advanced, assisted stopping going thingy that we don't even know about. We're gonna have to pretend but it would that still that's still be it. it would still be weight. Sorry, I interrupted you. That was absolutely no. You are fine. It, it's still. I think it's still weight. An object in motion. An object in motion will remain in motion and, until it's acted on by something of equal and opposite reaction. I don't buy the fact that no matter how fancy that little cart thing is that they're pulling and the little red wagon with a motor that's pulling said cart can create equal and opposite reaction. But they're out in the middle of nowhere. They don't need to stop. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I just think for the safety of the people in the car, we have to just assume that it can stop it. (laughs) I want to assume that nobody got hurt while towing this fifth wheel. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I can tell you the neighborhood that that was taken in. <laughs> Been there, done that, got the t-shirt to prove it. I mean, the, the truck's about ready to drag on the ground. Number one. And that's a heavy camper. That's an, that's an older one. That's a heavy bay. That, that, that's got a little... A little weight to it. I think we need to bring those hubcaps back on modern fifth wheels. Those hubcaps are awful. <laughs> Some like baby moons, the hub, yeah. you know. And it's got white walls. Check that out. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. That is fancy. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps getting better. Now we've added the ratchet straps. Uh, you know. <laughs> That's not, that's not going anywhere. <laughs> That'll hold it. <laughs> so this train wreck <laughs> is a sunken living room. <laughs> it's, it's a sunken living room. It's a, what do they call those? What do they call that floor plan? Uh, uh, in a house when... You have tri level? Tri level. That's okay, it. yeah. That's a tri level camper right there. It really is. A tri level right there. What is the second toe strap actually fastened to? The one at the very front. It looks like nothing. It's just there for a false sense of security. <laughs> this whole thing is a false sense of security. <laughs> just and then the the little axle underneath the like right by the door. Yeah. Whew. Maynard, I'm going to build this and everybody going to love it. <laughs> now, the one on the bottom, that might actually be kind of cool. Oh, dude, that, that thing is, <laughs> su- that is super cool right there. So are you taking, I'd call that one another super class C, would you say? Or is that more of a class A? They, they Actually, they, I think they call those adventure RVs. They, there, there are some companies that make them out of these. A lot of times it's a, like European military vehicles, Unimogs, mm-hmm. the Mercedes Unimog, which is a super cool thing. But they're, they're capable of going basically anywhere. Right, right. I've, I've seen some on some TV shows, and they're super cool and ridiculously expensive and but, you know, there's six-wheel drive and... Yeah, obviously you're going off the beaten path on that thing. I'm in. Don't get me wrong. I, I want to change my boat. If I have to buy... A, <laughs> if I got to buy a motor home... Bottom. Right there. Right there. The bottom, not the top. Yeah, please clarify what you're The bottom. 
The, <laughs> so for all you log cabin lovers, now have the RV for you. Boo. I like the pine tree in the front. The, the added decor. I, I, I didn't even notice it. I was <laughs> I was still so shocked at taking in the... <sighs> These are great. I guess each to their own on that, right? right? I mean, I find it to be horrendous, but... You know the people that have it love I mean, they love it. That is... That's their baby. It's It all started with, what if... <laughs> You know how you always wanted a log cabin, honey? I got you. Do you think those end pieces are like glued on there? I don't, it's hard to tell. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it, this whole thing is a mystery. I want to see the inside. I, yeah, that's what I was about to say. I, I want to know the that, inside. That would be cool. Did you do like the faux log beams on the inside, like a regular log cabin? But notice that they have a sofa sitting outside. Outside. Yeah. That's a full-blown sofa. That's not... <laughs> Under an easy up. Yep. I, you got to admit, to some extent, there is there is a little bit of a cool factor to it. Just there for is. the simple fact that RVers by nature, if they can figure out how to make something their own and make it unique. Now, unfortunately, sometimes it looks like... The ratchet strap. The ratchet strap. But this is a whole new level of creativity. Yeah. Not hating it. I bet they played with Lincoln logs when they were growing up and thought, I'm just going to make my camper <laughs> look like a Lincoln log set. <laughs> I like this new segment. It's fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Gadget Corner. The Blackstone Grill. Absolutely a must-have. Yes. I don't care if you RV or you don't. Mm -hmm. If you just hang out at the house with your family and yeah. do your thing. If you own a grill, the Blackstone is the, the thing. Right. This isn't just a camping thing. This is if you want a nice grill at your house. Blackstones are, they're nice. We have one for the camper and we have one for See? home just because you can literally cook anything, anything on it. Right. Yeah. So we have a Holland, a Holland grill, which is a ridiculously expensive brand of grill at the house mm -hmm. and it's super cool because you can't really burn anything on it and you can do a lot of great things with it I don't have a Blackstone at home but I have a 28 inch Blackstone for the campground and I've really seriously considered selling my Holland and getting another Blackstone and, and getting another Blackstone and now they make this super cool Blackstone with air fryers and all this stuff we don't own an air fryer we're not smart enough to figure out a Instapot but people keep talking about how cool the air fryer is. Yeah, we haven't we haven't jumped on that bandwagon either with air fryers and Instapots. But the Blackstones are nice. We don't have one yet, but we're looking to get one for the house. Derek, you need you need you need a Blackstone. We do. He would agree. What's your favorite thing to cook on your Blackstone? You know, it it doesn't matter. It. I love the fact so you, Sunday break you breakfast. Yeah, you can go out there and make you, your eggs. You and got bacon. eggs and bacon and sausage and, and hash browns and, and pancakes all at the same time. We've been doing, it's become a tradition on weekends when we're camping to make Chinese food. Mm -hmm. We do the noodles on there and then I do chicken. It's basically like the hibachi yeah, girl. Yeah, so you have we the do little hibachi thing. The chicken, the shrimp, and then we have different seasonings. So like people come up and I literally make it to order. Do you want it spicy? Do you want it not spicy? Do you want chicken, shrimp, everything? And that has become a huge hit at the campground. Hopefully Jordan doesn't hear this because he'll be wanting to come over for dinner. But yeah, yeah, that's what we've been doing on ours. Speaking of grills, the Chad Smith, the facilities manager, and I picked up your grill at the campground yesterday. But I'm relatively sure that it probably blew over again in the hurricane-like wind gusts. It's twice now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that ends week 17 episode 17 week 17 mm -hmm. hope to see you guys at the campground soon yep hoping to see everybody bye guys bye, bye.